Hello and welcome to this week's vlog. Now I'm really, really excited because in about an hour, me and my lovely wife have cleared our diaries completely and we are off to the Lake District for four, five days, four and a half days of landscape photography. Can't wait to go. I'm hoping that this time, this time, I'm gonna finally climb Lufrig Fell with some decent light. Um, we're gonna go up really early and do a sunrise. We're hoping to climb Home Fell. Whether that happens or not, um, you'll be able to see later on. So um, this is part one and the others are going to be coming up on a Sunday. So thanks for coming with me. Enjoy this vlog. Um, and the next time you'll see me, I'll be in the Lake District. And just like that, here we are. So we've checked into our accommodation. Five hour trip up here. Just had a lovely dinner in a lovely pub in Coniston. And we're at a quarry. What we're going to do is going to head towards, I'll show you on the camera. We're going to head kind of up there. And that, over there, as far as I know, is Home Fell. We're going to try and get up there for sunset because I think there's going to be a nice view down this valley, which um, is going to be awesome. So it's the middle of May and it's actually a little bit nippy, but I think with a walk we'll be absolutely fine. So we're going to head off that way. There's some lovely silver birch trees around here, um, some rocks. And I think actually Home Fell has, has got all sorts of different sorts of trees. So it'll be really interesting. There's also a quarry, so loads of stuff to photograph. And actually, it's a really interesting sky. It's a mackerel sky, I think they call it. Um, and it'll be really interesting to see what happens when the sun drops below it. We've got another couple of hours to sunset, so we're going to get off and uh, go and explore this. Whew. Well, that was a bit of a hike for an old bit of 50 or 8 year old, but I'm at the top of a peak. Now, I think I said to you, home fell was that way. I think actually it was completely the opposite way. It was over there. But we found a nice peak. Um, you can see, but there's a lake down there. I'll put up on the screen whereabouts that is. Um, looks like the Langdale is in the background. And we are in that area, so it could be. Now, really hoping we get a decent sunset out of this, but at the moment we've just got a complete blanket of mackerel clouds, which isn't a great deal of good, because the sunset is going to be down here. But we've still got another hour, so wherever we are, it's the most wonderful place. Really, really pleased to be out here. Absolutely silent from the birds. You can hear a cuckoo in the distance. Right, I'll set up a shot here because I've got a shot in mind. I'll just show you what we're doing. Um, the shot's that way. I've got Albert set up on this rock here. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to use this little holly bush. You can see the holly bush there. I'm going to use the holly bush and the mountains just to give it a load of depth maybe a little bit on the tarn there uh, will form some kind of composition using these rocks using the trees and using the tarn we've talked about maybe coming back here tomorrow because there's so many interesting details in this which will be lovely tonight i really want to get a grand vista with a nice sunset so that's the plan if it doesn't work it doesn't work um, in which case you won't get to see any pictures because it won't be the best but um we're up here we're going to enjoy ourselves and We'll see exactly what turns out. Not hopeful, if I'm honest. There's too much cloud, really, I think. But if if we get a little bit of sun underneath, it's going to look wonderful. So let me set the camera up, work on the composition, and I'll talk to you through it once we get once we get some light. So not really much luck with the light. 
got half an hour to sunset. I'm not going to say this is going to be a complete waste of time because there is a little bit of, I would describe it as beige <laughs> in, this cloud, in these clouds, but there are signs that it might break up a little bit and it's, it's kind of getting a bit misty in the, in the background. Um, as far as where we are, I think that's Little Langdale down there, little village you can see, uh, and that's that tarn, is Little Langdale tarn. Um, there's a big slate quarry to my right, your left, which I'll show you with the drone, and that's Cathedral Cavern down there where we're going to have a look tomorrow. We've been Cathedral Cavern, I've been there about three times, um, but I want to take a photograph of Slater's Bridge, which I've photographed twice before, but I've never vlogged it and it's a really lovely picture. I've never been there in May, so we're going to, going to have a look at that. So, um, just going to wait half an hour, you never know your luck. There might be something. I'm probably going to shoot a picture just to say I've been here, but uh, at the moment the light's not looking the best, but it's been... It's been a lovely walk, walk out, first day of the Lake District. I mean, we drove out this morning and already got a shoot in, albeit not particularly successful. The plan for the week is to do a couple of sunsets. I want to get up to Luffrig Fell, which I may have mentioned before. I've uh, been up there t uh, once, didn't get any light, a bit like today really, just a bit kind of flat. Um, went there in January and as you probably know if you saw that vlog and if you didn't I'll put a link to it up here somewhere. Um, I got there and the forecast was no rain, it, ra it was raining hard, didn't know what to do, ended up going to Coniston, not a particularly great day but those are the days that I guess when they have the good days it was what makes the good days even better because you know how much effort you've put in and how many times you've tried so I'm hoping at some point, I'm going to go to Lothbrook Fell, not tomorrow, but we're going to probably go up Monday morning when everybody's at work and, and see if it's not quieter up there then. So, I don't know. Um, I'd really like there to be a nice big gap in the clouds because actually this sky will look lovely. Let's see what happens. So the shot I was hoping for, the midges are out, was a shot. This is uh, Little Langdale, and then we've got the Langdale Tarn, and then the Langdale Mountains on the background here. Um, and a lovely sunset, which we haven't got. Um, <laughs> but what can you do? I'm going to shoot something anyway. So uh, it's a portrait shot. Um, I'm going to bracket this, so let me talk you through that now. Oh and I'll be getting out of here. Right, well, we're going to have a go. There's a little bit of light. I wouldn't say it's brilliant, but you never know. We're kind of ready. So what I'm, the composition that I'm looking at, um, got the little holly tree, just cut the base of this rock um, at the bottom of the picture. It's a little outcrop that takes us there. And then we go back from the, from the right through the Langdales, through the little tarn to the mountains in the distance. And I'm gonna to have to focus stack this and I'm also gonna bracket it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on the near foreground rock here. We're using F13, half a second, um, the delay. So that's one exposure. I'm just gonna bracket the next one. So I'm gonna focus just at that ridge line. Same thing, same exposure. 
and the final one might be enough actually but I'm going to do the final one on the mountain at the background okay and now what we're going to do is come back to this rock uh, and we're just going to adjust the exposure by leaving the aperture the same but we're going to go up to one and a half seconds so we're going to give it a stop more let's focus it again so this is now over by one stop same three places focus on the next rock sorry not the next rock this middle bank of trees here the mid ground and then the last one again the mountain in the distance so that's focus stacked and exposed for the correctly and then exposed for the highlights and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, actually that's sorry that was exposed for the shadows and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and focus on I'm going to expose for the highlights so we need to come down here on the exposure slightly better so it's about a fifth of a sec third of a second not a lot different actually the light's gone in a little bit a quarter of a second is what it should be so we focus on the foreground rock focus on the mid ground exactly the same place oh, it won't focus there and the last one is going to be on the mountain in the background there okay so I'm not sure that's totally necessary the best way to do that actually is to focus and then do the three exposures rather than the way I've just done it but I guess what I'm thinking is it's not going to be a great deal of a, a great shot anyway so it's just kind of just to cover myself I mean the straightforward exposure there's just nothing in the sky which is a shame because it's actually it's actually not a bad composition it's not the best ever but there's interest throughout there's some nice uh, some nice rocks and the trees are lovely and i would imagine on a snowy day this will look wonderful but at the moment what can you do you've got to be in it to win it right well i'll show you the picture on the screen um i'll show you with the blending that i've done and um if i don't get anything any better i'll see you next time so thanks ever so much as ever for tuning in i'll see you next week goodbye so as i was putting the video together i had an email from adobe saying do you want to try the new photoshop a beta version which allows you to use AI so for me this image needs something in the midground. I think I was too disappointed in the sunset but I'm just going to select the lasso tool here and then just going to select this area uh, which has just got grass in it and to me it needs a little bit extra so I'm just going to carefully, I don't think you need to be that careful actually, but I'm just going to lasso around this blank area. Now I could have corrected it by getting lower down. I think I was just a bit disappointed with the sky, but um, now that's now selected. And now look, I can now type in here what I want in this blank piece of ground. So I'm going to put in um, still water with mackerel sky so with a reflection of a mackerel sky at sunset generate
and just look what happens. Photoshop is now going to add that in, but look how clever it is. Look, <laughs> look at that. Look. That just fits right in. There's three versions. I don't know quite what that is. <laughs> It's like a little bit of wood laid about. Wow, look at that. Oh, I don't like those bits of wood, but I'm like a clone those out. But I mean, wow. Reflections there. I mean, it might just need a little bit of work on it, to be honest. I can generate, actually, if I press it again, it will now generate some extra versions for me, will it? I think it will different versions I love the fact it's just behind look it's still just behind that piece of rock I mean it's clear no, it's <laughs> that's a very small small whoa look at that that's perfect and that goes behind the rock on the right and actually, that's lovely, isn't it? And it's back to the original ones, yeah. So that wasn't. Look at that one as well. Oh my word! This is just bonkers. There we go. <laughs>